Hi, this video will introduce the exploration puzzle game type in Foldit. In exploration puzzles, your objective is to find unique and interesting folds of proteins. We measure how unique your fold is with something called exploration score. You can see that the exploration score has replaced the normal score at the top of the screen. This exploration score is the score that you will be ranked on and that will show up on leaderboards for exploration puzzles. Now this doesn't mean that you can ignore the normal score of Foldit. You still have to get at least some normal score in order for you to get credit for your solution. To help you in your exploration, we've given you a tool called the Contact Map. You can open the contact by going to Actions, Contact Map. This brings up the Contact Map panel. There are quite a few things on this panel, so let's go over them. First off is the Exploration Score. This is the same as at the top of the screen. Next is just score, which is the normal folded score that you are used to. Right here you can see I have 378 out of 400 normal score. This means that I have to get at least 400 normal score in order to get credit for this solution. Now let's look at the big triangle on the lower left. This is the actual contact map itself. You can think of the contact map as a table where each cell is a pair of segments on the protein. If those two segments are close enough, we say they are contacting. Contacts show up as black squares on this map. To help you figure out what this all means, let's explore some of the features of the contact map. You can see that in this area right here, we have a ton of contacts. We can see which pair of segments these actually correspond to by selecting them on the contact map. To select them, just hold down click and drag. Looking back at the 3D model, you can see that these green bands have shown up on, along the sheet. Each of these bands represents one of the cells that we have selected on the contact map. We can also select cells which don't have contacts, like these, and you can see that they show up as red. This is because the corresponding segments are not close enough on the actual 3D protein. You can deselect cells by clicking on them again, or you can clear all selected cells with the Clear Selected Cells button. You might have noticed that every cell has a background color that is somewhere between red and white. This color indicates how many people have contacts in this cell. If a cell is red, almost everyone has a contact there. If it's white, almost no one does. This is important because it is also how you get exploration score. Each contact you get gives you a little bit of score. If you get a contact in a white cell, you will get lots of points. A contact in a red cell won't get you as many points, but it's not a bad thing either. 